Hi guys, it's Luton here, and I've got a very important video for today. This is something I see so often and it's been getting really on my nerves. It's about speed and movement prioritization. This is a really core principle, it's so important, and I see people going wrong with it so, so often. In essence, what we're talking about is being ready to move and thinking a step ahead about where you want to go to. These things are so important if you want to be successful and if you want to be a good team player. Now look, the base and even capped, I'm already getting ready to move forward. This is something that is so important often as well. When you have people on a base, you want to be, you know, you don't want to necessarily always be waiting for the cap. If you've got two, three people and it's clear, move, move on to the next one. You're pushing forward. Now I'm moving to B here. This guy's coming in, take him out. Um, another thing is resing, and we'll see that in a mo. Resing, you know, I know people say you don't have to accept the res, but the trouble is if you're down on the ground and you keep keep sort of getting revived and you're back and you're revived and you're back it wastes time and it can take like 30 seconds or more sometimes to get fully back up again and in the game and that is time wasted this guy takes me out here look I get right okay didn't accept it I wasn't gonna accept it and I'm down again it's all and now I've got to go back I've got to wait to respawn etc etc you know I'm thinking okay I'm back to the menu right here two seconds one seconds spawning back in the game and then look speed get in here get on this objective take him down clear 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 move around the back gonna spray clear across so this is the thing is getting back in the game back in the, I'm ready I'm moving forward to the next position B caps medic pack down and I'm on to the next objective moving moving I'm thinking okay going with B C they're capping C I'm now down there so I'm moving up to A moving on to A where is everybody see this is the thing nobody comes with me I often find this in my situations when I'm in game is that I'm moving so fast people don't keep up with me and then you know I don't actually have the support that I need it's so important you've got to and there cap cap move 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 you've got to get on those next objectives okay next one this is conquest now this is conquest assault now look at this this was a great situation remember from a game I posted with Tao now look at this they're capping we've just defended B okay we've got people down there all right but I was looking at this situation thinking hmm we've only got two bases left that the, we know they had a whole a lot of pushing a lot of effort going on to B and they were also attacking C from D before me and Tao were like okay quick let's make a flank down to E and again this all comes into the speed and decision making all right we made a decision here that we needed to pull them back and this is another one it's it's speed and choice of where you're going to go to etc when you're playing all right positioning speed and positioning and me and Tao were like okay we need to get onto E here taking the base furthest away from where your enemy are is always a good thing because it means that they have to divert their attention to a completely different area of the map this then in turn gives you time to redefend uh, you know set up your positions pick up some of your guys and generally sort of Re reinforce your defensive positions so the two speed elements there time time to get to a base quickly time to set yourself back up and get on the defense then we're moving into this rush base now now look how long this is armed for okay rush people take so long to react to situations look at these guys here we've got two guys on the left here they're not even going for the disarm okay I managed to run from the other side of the map to get onto this thing going straight onto the objective and again this is not a point about me doing it well this is just a point about how people need to get onto things quickly people need to get on these disarms straight away alright yeah you need to control the situation but you do need to get those things disarmed if you're not even disarming it then Christ it's just game over so there's three little situations here that I've picked out uh, within the context of games that you may have seen on my videos already I decided to pick those so that you you know if you want to you can go and check the context of those situations situations and this is a very important topic for me so I will be giving a more specific breakdown on another upcoming video but this was just food for thought today three situations I'm sure you've experienced can comment on thanks for watching today guys see you next time